Happy Tuesday, Boalia Desmond here. Thank you for tuning in. Today's message is taken from one of my favorite guides. It's called the Dash Guide, um, given to me by my mentor, Dave Scogan. So this topic is about commu um, community and it's called the four stages of building community, which he calls the four Fs. So these were new to me. So if you've ever heard of them, I want you to put that in comments that you've heard of these, or if this is your first time like me, um, put that in there in the comments too. So what is a community? When you think about a community, what do you think about? A community is really a group of two or more people who come together regardless of their background. They are working to effectively towards a goal. This is a place where, you know, you can grow, you can share ideas, you can resolve conflicts, you know, you can, you can be a part of something. So say you're in a Facebook if community. If you're on Facebook, chances are you belong to a group, which is a community. If you're in a home-based business, you belong to a community. If you're in a church, you belong to a community. And you know, like um, if you see people like in the villages, like in Zambia, where I'm from, they live in a community. They work towards a common goal. They help one another and they thrive together, right? So you are probably part of a community. So here are the four stages that he says are called the four stages of building community. The first one he's co he calls the faking stage. Okay, this is the stage where n people don't really know each other. So they're pretending as though they're really part of this close-knit group, right? Um, they want to follow the rules because they are not really sure about anybody else in the group, right? They're behaving. This is the behaving stage. Pretending like, you know, they might be somebody that they're not. The second stage is the fighting stage. This is when the masks come off. People are starting to get a little more lax. Maybe the rules are, aren't being followed as much as, as they were in the, in the faking stage. Um, you know, all that small talk is now over, right? Now people are really kind of exposing themselves for who they are. And then you've got the forming stage. This is the stage when people are now, because they've been exposed, they're starting to work on the personal things that maybe they've been, um, that have been shed in the light. Um, they now are attempting to um, work on themselves more because things are now like out in the open as to who they are, right? So they're not blaming people. They're not trying to fix their neighbor. Now they're trying to just work on things to make themselves better. And then the fourth stage is called the functioning stage. This is the stage where now people, because all the, all the other stuff has been exposed, now they're really coming to get to know each other, like each other, and work together as a group. And now they're actually taking responsibility for the success of the group together as a community. Okay, so this is where things are really starting to move towards them being a community. So if you are not part of a group, I urge you to become part of something. This is where you can you can share ideas. You can you can freely um, actually offer value to other people too. In in you know when people ask questions within a group, you can offer some value and things that you know um, you know you've succeeded at or and you're working towards like one common thing. Okay, and if and even just for your own sake, for your own self, you can grow in a group. You can become better in a group. There's so many things you can learn in a group and you can work towards fulfilling your purpose and your calling as part of a group and not yourself because you're not meant to do life on your own. So again, those were the four stages of building a community. It was faking stage, the fighting stage, the forming stage, and the functioning stage. So if you've ever heard of them, uh, put that in the comments. If this is your first time that you heard about them, like I like it was my first time, put that in the comments too. So tomorrow is Wealth Wednesday. So I hope you're thinking about a way that you're going to be a blessing to someone's life tomorrow. So we're always looking to be better and we're always looking to help um, other people. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.